my name is Yana Hempler and I'm a personal trainer and running coach. Today I'd like to show you some of my favorite stability ball exercises. First we have the deep line push-ups. These are really good for your upper body and your core. What you want to focus on is you want to make sure that your wrist is underneath your elbow, which is underneath your shoulder, and you want to keep your core nice and tight so that the ball doesn't roll around too much. Next, we have the ball tuck. I really like this one because it really focuses on engaging the core. Again, you want to make sure that your wrist is over is below your elbow and is directly underneath your shoulder and you really want to focus on engaging the core and this one will make your core extremely strong. Next is the ball pike. It's a little bit more challenging than the ball tuck because you're, you really have to lift your butt up as high as you possibly can without falling off the ball. So you really want to engage your chest muscles and your arm muscles as well as your core muscles and this is going to be extremely good for your core. Okay, so then we have the stability ball alternating plank. So what you want to focus on with that is really engaging your core again and then you're bringing your each leg and alternating them by going side to side but you want to keep the ball very steady so this is why you need to really keep the core engaged. And you also want to not touch the floor as you do this with your foot. So now we have the ball hamstring curl. So what you really want to focus on is getting your butt off the ground and really activating your hamstrings and maybe a little bit of glutes. This will make your hamstrings a lot more strong so that you are able to run better. One is the single-legged ball hamstring curl. This is a little bit more advanced and it requires for you to engage your core so that you can balance a bit better and you must also engage your hamstring and your glutes. Now we have the ball plank circles. This one is all about the core. So you want to keep your body as uh, straight as possible and keep your core very engaged. And then you go one way and then you go the other way. Stability ball alternating plank with leg lift. So you're alternating each leg as you're engaging your glutes. You also want to make sure to engage your core and uh, keep your arms also engaged as much as possible so that you're not going side to side. Modified V-up using a stability ball. So focus on really engaging your core. Do not strain your neck as you go up. And then eventually, down the road, you'll be able to do the V-ups without having a stability ball supporting your legs. The last one is the ball passes. It is designed to finish off your workout after you already exhausted your core. The goal is to see how many you can do and try not to let the ball touch the ground when you do the ball passes on either side and you really want to focus on engaging your core and not straining your neck. Thank you. 